Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back again in this uh, Form 5 physics lesson. Okay. Our last lesson, uh, we halfway through this uh, lesson 2 of chapter, chapter 3 in your Form 5 syllabus, right? Electromagnetism. Okay. In your lesson 3, uh, what you learned was uh, this magnetic force uh, in the current carrying conductor, correct or not? It's something like this. Lah. When a conductor conducting current in a magnetic field, a force is produced. You remember this three thing, you know, uh, this three thing, uh, someone still come in, okay? So when current flow through a magnetic field, right? It will produce a force okay force of magnetic force lah and then this force uh, can be used in uh, so many things uh, last lesson also we discussed already right okay come let's look at the paper now huh? wrong paper okay i have another paper now okay it's like this lot you remember uh, last week roughly it's like this uh, your idea okay let you have a little bit idea first uh, huh? you look at this diagram uh, huh? okay you see now uh, when we here got magnetic field this one is magnetic field but my neck magnetic field uh, so when current flow through a magnetic field, you see that uh, you allow the current to go through this magnetic field, it will produce a force, correct not? And this force can push this wire move to the left side, okay? Not only that, you know, this force uh, can do so many things, one, you know. Example, we also discussed, right, in moving coin, moving coin, ammeter, okay, uh, sorry, uh, I, I think I, I I didn't press the button, okay, sorry. Share screen, okay, sorry. Uh. So I shocked the video, I think you cannot see just now. Yeah, I start again now, huh? sorry. Yeah. Because the few of them still come in now, so I have to click. I worry they don't agree wrongly, I remove their name, okay? Okay, come. Yeah, the few examples are uh, these are not moving coin emitter, right? Moving coin emitter. Okay, this moving coin emitter, right? Using the magnetic force, uh, when current go inside the coin, got inside magnetic field, right? So produce a magnetic force. This magnetic force uh, will deflect the pointer. So it, when the pointer deflected, you can use to measure current. Uh, first example. Okay, the second one is uh, DC motor. Yeah, you see here. Uh, uh, the DC motor, right? Okay, this DC motor means uh, when you supply current to inside the coin, right? To produce a pair of magnetic force which in opposite direction, one up, one down. When the force are uh, in opposite direction, uh, it will cause turning effect. So this coin will then start to turn up. Uh, so it becomes electric motor. Understand? DC motor. They are still got people coming. So let me let them in first. Uh. Okay. 
So this one, DC motor, second example, using the magnetic force to work. Okay, third one is AC motor. This one is also motor, lah, but the only thing is using AC current. This AC current also can make this coil to turn lah, using magnetic force. Lah. The force acted in opposite direction. Okay, one up, one down. How to determine the direction of the force? Do you remember we use Fleming's left hand rule? Right now, this hand, Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, to determine the direction of the force. Huh? So this side is going up, this side going down. So if you spin now, it will rotate. And one more example you also have discussed, which is I think is moving coil loudspeaker uh, this one loudspeaker loudspeaker also using the magnetic force to work you know this loudspeaker moving coil loudspeaker okay because interaction between the two magnetic for force here this one got magnetic field here got magnetic field right when this thing put inside the cone now uh, you put inside here so when current flow here here got magnetic field so this magnetic field interact with this magnetic field right produce a force so the force will make the cone move in move out move in move out to vibrate so the vibration of the cone produce the sound okay so four things are uh, use a concept of magnetic force you know okay remember uh, first one is moving coil ammeter the second one is dc motor third one is AC motor, okay, and the last one is moving coin loudspeaker, okay. All right, now, um, uh, I know that last lesson that uh, we have discussed the question halfway, right? We have finished until question 14, right? I think it's question 14 is here, lah. okay. Now we continue with question number 15, now. okay. Now you can see here, lah, question 15, okay. Is here okay question 15 right on this question 15 okay very short question now electric motor used to change what to what okay electric motor the answer is b change the electrical energy to mechanical energy okay electric motor means that will supply current so it will start to turn when it turning, it becomes mechanical energy. La. Okay, so changing motor, la. change electrical energy to mechanical energy. La. The motor will spin, isn't it? Motor will turn. When the motor is turning, so we call it mechanical energy. La. All right, next, number 16. Diagram show a direct current motor. Direct current, because uh, you see here, got commutator. I told you last week, right? But you see, this is one pair of commutator, half ring, left, right, to half ring. So this is direct current. It must use direct current. I see this is direct current using a battery. Direct current. Okay. So which of the following is not true? It's not true. Huh? Okay. We know that huh? when current go inside here, so this side of force is down. This side of force is up using Fleming's left hand rule. Huh? Okay. So if we turn here, it will turn anti-clockwise direction, right? Okay, which one is not true? So the answer is D. This is wrong, okay? This is not correct because commutator chain direct current to alternating current. This is wrong. That one is not commutator function, no. Okay, by the way, now what is the function of commutator? Eh? Commutator is not changing direct current to alternating current. So then what is the function of commutator? Do you remember or not? You still remember or not? Commutator function is what? Last week, okay, we learned this one. Commutator, what is the function? Tan Yuan Nen, are you there now? Yeah, Tan Yuan Nen? Yuan Nen? Not there. Okay. Uh, commutator function now. Uh, is to ensure uh, this coin this coin uh, will continue to turn in the same direction so remember i said it again uh, commutator function is to ensure 
the coil rotated in same direction. Okay. How? Uh, here I don't want to explain anymore. La. Last lesson we explained already. Now I ask you what is the function of commutator only. So you must remember commutator function is to ensure this coin uh, rotate in the one direction, rotate in the same direction. Okay. Uh? So that is a job of commutator, la, not this one. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Someone uh, send a message. Let me read first. I don't know what. Uh, I cannot read here. Uh. Okay, question number 17. Okay, next question. Huh? Which are the following operate on the effect of cardiac field? Okay, cardiac field means uh, this is a magnetic force. Lah. Okay, this is a magnetic force. When you see the words cardiac field means the magnetic force. Okay. The magnetic force produced by current flow through the magnetic field. Okay, the one using the effect of carapat field, the force uh, is moving coil ammeter. Correct not? We are learned four, right? Moving coil ammeter, DC motor, AC motor, and moving coil loudspeaker. Correct not? Right? Okay, number 18. Uh, this one is structure question, so follow carefully. Uh, you all. Diagram shows a copper rod. Uh, this one is a copper rod. Okay, placed on two long wire here. La. Okay. On the figure, indicate and label the direction of magnetic field of the bar magnet. Okay, so it's here. La. Bar magnet is here. La. This is north. This is south. Okay, you just draw two lines can already la. from north go to south. North go to south. This is the magnetic field of the permanent magnet, okay? North to south, it must be north to south one other uh, direction. So remember that north, north to south, uh, okay? Okay, B, when the switch is on, okay, you on the switch here, okay? The copper rod move on the thick wire. This copper rod will move, you know. Okay, move where like, you see this flaming's left hand. Like, you see here, like, where you must understand this hand. Like, okay, so this hand, like, first finger, first finger, like, your first finger is this one. Follow here. North to south, I think wrong already. Like. It's pointing down, top to Bottom point down, you know. The middle finger, this finger actually is pointing downwards, uh, the hand going down. Okay, but I cannot draw the hand going down, you know. Actually, north south means top to bottom of uh, this finger. Uh. Whether this finger go to the side, okay, follow the current. Okay, so the current go inside. This current go inside, so this finger is a uh, current now, so current go inside. This finger point down. Actually, the hand is like that. Huh? This finger is pointing down on the floor. Okay, can you follow uh, what I say now? Uh? This second finger point from outside, point inside. Okay, point in. Whether this first finger point to the floor. Okay, when you are using your hand, uh, north south point down and point to the floor. Then you notice that uh, your thumb point to the left. So the force is to the left now. Uh. They say this copper rod will be pushed to the left side. Okay. So they ask you to indicate the direction of current flow. So direction is here, lo. current flow here. La. Okay. Come out from positive, then cross over. So this is direction of current. Okay, next. The direction of motion of the copper rod. Okay. Direction of motion is here, lo. go to the left side la. using Fleming's left hand. Okay. Use of Fleming's left hand, current go in, magnet north to south point on the floor, go down, then your thumb point to the left side, so the force go to the left, okay? Now next, they ask you to explain 
how the motion of copper rod produced. He asked you to explain how this force is produced, you know. Okay, the answer is as this. Uh, the answer, you see carefully, uh, you must say like this now. Magnetic field of current on the rod interact with the magnetic field of permanent magnet produce a force towards left. Okay, you just write like that. The force is produced through magnetic field of the current. Okay, this current, I mean, current flow here got magnetic field along this wire. Understand? So this magnetic field interact with this magnetic field. Magnetic field of current on the rod interact with the magnetic field of permanent magnet. This permanent magnet got magnetic field. Huh? So this interaction produces a force. The force is moving to the left side. Okay? Moving to the left. Okay? This is how you explain now. Uh, understand? You explain how the force is produced or not. Hey, this answer, please remember. Uh, I'm sure this part, this answer will ask one. You must know how, how to explain the force is generated, you know. Okay? Always remember this sentence. You remember the force is produced when interaction between two magnetic fields. Where, where are the two magnetic fields? Remember, interaction between magnetic field by the current and magnetic field by permanent magnet. There are two, two magnetic fields here. When current flow through this wire, don't forget, surrounding the wire got one magnetic field. This is magnetic field by current. And this magnetic field by permanent magnet, these two magnetic field clash, so they interact. So once the two magnetic field interact, huh, automatically they will produce a force. Okay? So you just give the answer like that. Huh? Okay? Magnetic field or current of the, on the rod interact with the magnetic field of permanent magnet. It can produce a force. And the force is towards the left. This sign is based on Fleming's left hand rule. Like we say, go to the left side. Okay? All right. D. What happened to the motion of copper rod and explain your answer. Okay, when the real start adjusts until the resistance decreases, there's a real start here. You adjust the real start so that the resistance decreases. You know that, huh? Resistance decreases means that the current flow becomes higher, right? Not smaller resistance, so the current flow will become higher. Okay, when current higher, so definitely the magnetic this magnetic force becomes stronger. Lah. So the answer is. Higher current produce stronger, uh, stronger magnetic field. So copper rod move faster and further toward the left. You must answer now. Uh. Okay. The answer is like this, you know. Okay, remember now. Uh, when the current is stronger, okay, stronger current produces stronger magnetic field. Because of stronger magnetic field, then the copper rod will move faster to the left side and also move further to the left. It will move faster and it will move further. Understand? Two conditions. Huh? When the force is stronger, so the copper rod will push to move faster and to move further. Okay? Understand? So far, how you can understand or not? Now you all can understand. Let me read the chat. Someone type here, but I cannot see. Make sure the coin turn in the same direction. Yeah, can make the answer correct. Your answer is correct. Okay. Thank you, can make. Peng Yi, are you still there, ah, Peng Yi? Yes, sir. Can you understand or not the answer? Yes, yes. You understand? Ah? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. This one, whose name is it? Ah? Only no name one, only a, put a star on it. Put a star on it. Who, who's, who is it? Can you put your name? Ah? Don't put a star line, okay? Ah, what is your name? Put, please put your name. Don't put a star there, okay? Can or not? Okay, come, move on. Ah? Next is the uh, second part of the question, okay?
the battery replaced by AC power supply. Ah, okay. Now what happened? What happened when you you change the direct current battery with AC power supply? Okay, when you change to AC power supply, now the copper rod vibrates on the fixed position. It will vibrate so you know it won't move anymore. Why it never move already? The copper the copper rod will vibrate at the fixed position. That's it. You know why or not? You know why it will vibrate? Okay, let me explain now. You see now. Okay, you look at this here, this diagram. Now. If direct current now, it will produce a force now, only to the left side. You push this wire to the left, you know. If now you change to AC current, AC current means the current keep changing direction, man. When current keep changing direction, now, then the force also keep changing direction. A wire go to left, a wire go to right. So we make the copper right, copper rod now. Move to left, right, left, right, left, right, very, very fast. If too fast means uh, it cannot move anymore, no? it can only vibrate, vibrate, vibrate only. No? It's supposed to be moving to the left, move to the right, move to the left, because uh, AC, na, AC current keep changing direction, right? When AC current keep changing direction, means the force also change direction, a while go to left, a while go to right. So you make the wire go left, go right, go left, go right. So it will vibrate now. Because if too fast, I go left, go right, it cannot move anymore. So you will only vibrating on it, vibrating here. Okay? So that is the reason now. Huh? So vibrate only, huh? okay? All right, now, two instruments which use the principle involved, okay? Using the magnetic force to work one, okay? You have learned like moving coil emitter one, DC electric motor, right? Okay, simply just give two, la, any two out of four. Moving coil emitter and DC electric motor. Okay, you can give example, right? Okay, that is question number 18, right? Okay, now number 19. Now, figure show two permanent magnet with different pole. Okay, here is north, here is south, right? Magnetic pole, la. Okay, first they ask you to draw. Draw the patterns of magnetic field. So you just use a ruler, draw the line. Okay, straight line. Ah. So north to south, north to south. Magnetic field is north to south. So this is permanent magnetic field. Ah. This magnetic field is permanent one because this is permanent magnet. Right? Who put a question mark here? Ah. Oh, man, ah. John Ting, John Ting, I do lock in your mind. Ah. It's okay. Ah. Uh, you want to ask question, you can uh, use a pen to write. I don't stop you like you write. As long as you don't disturb me, you can already. La. When you disturb, I will switch off the button. Now, huh? Okay. All right, next. Figure show two straight wire. Okay. Straight wire flow through, flow the current in opposite direction. Okay. Opposite direction. Huh? You all know or not, when this is a dot, a dot means the current is coming out from the paper. Current come out from the paper. When this is X, right? X show that the current flow into the paper. Okay? So this current come out, come out, so your right hand grip rule is like this, huh? Wait. Come out from the paper, so your right hand grip rule like that. Your thumb, your hand like this, huh? Your thumb point to your face. Why point to your face? Because it come out from the paper. When it come out from your paper, it means it go to your face, isn't it? So make sure your thumb point to your face. Okay. So you can see your other fingers, right? Is in anti-clockwise direction. Whereas this side, the wire bring the current go into the paper. Someone uh, didn't switch off your microphone now. Uh, so check, please check your microphone. Make sure it's off it. If you don't talk on uh, your mic, please off now. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this one, uh, who's on uh, the mic never off? Uh. Okay. 
So y'all help me to check out who never off the microphone. Remind, remind the student now to off the microphone, please. Okay. So this one is anti-clockwise. Current come out. This one current go in. When this is anti-clockwise, this one only check already. Uh, sure, it's the valid one. Clockwise direction. Okay. Then the permanent magnetic field is left to right, right? So you put here, look. this is permanent magnetic field, right? Off, uh, off the mic already, right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Right, now you look at this diagram. This one is permanent magnetic field. So you see, I put here, uh, left, left go to right. This one are the magnetic field by the current. Okay, you can see here. On top here, nah, this permanent magnetic field and this magnetic field, same direction. Same direction, so they will combine, become strong. This I put here strong. Same direction, so become strong. Then at the bottom here, nah, go to the left, but this one go to the right, clash, tensor. So here actually is weak. Then on this side, uh, here, same direction. Okay, this I move to the right. This permanent magnetic field also to the right. So they combine, become strong. Uh, we only recognize the strong area. La. On this side, bottom is strong. On the right side, on top is strong. So here is strong, here is weak. Then on the right side, here is strong, here is weak. Huh? Remember that now. Okay, so now. What the question? The question? Yeah, I think I explained here. Huh? You just listen first. Huh? So when here is strong, right? Here is also strong. So what you notice, huh? there will be a force on this side. It will push up. The force is push up. Why push up the force? Because, huh? Bottom strong, on top here weak, so the force push up from strong to weak. On the right side, on top is strong, bottom is weak, so it pushes down. Okay? So it's roughly it's like that. Lah. So the force here go up, the force here come down. Okay? Now let's see the what the question asks first. Lah. Okay? Then we move to the right side. Ah, then we ask to draw, okay? We draw like this, huh? So I told you uh, in the lesson one, right? When you draw the cutabout field, right? We only focus on the strong magnetic field region. Bottom here is strong. Okay, strong, you draw the line very, very close. Up here is strong. So only draw here, lah, the line like that, okay? So the lines here are very close. Here, very close, right? So here, the force push up. Strong, strong from the bottom, so it pushes up. On the right side, the strong is on the top, so it pushes down. Okay, so here go up, here come down. Huh? Okay, so please uh, jot down the diagram. Yeah, draw the patterns of magnetic field form. Uh, this, one, uh, this is a pattern of magnetic field, lah, right? And indicate label the direction of force. So you see a lot, this one go up, this one come down, it's a force. Huh? Okay. When bottom is strong means uh, the force will be push up. When on top is strong, so it will push down. So remember the concept is like that. Okay. So what happens is this thing will start to turn now. Uh, understand it will turn no? Because this side go up, this side go down, so it will turn this direction, it will turn. But I don't know the question asked or not. Like it will turn like that, huh? Okay. Right. Next, suggest two method to increase the force to make the force stronger. Okay. First, increase the current. This is straightforward. You increase the current, so the force becomes stronger, right? Okay. The second method, decrease the distance between the two magnets and make these two magnets closer. Okay. 
when two magnet you put them closer now nah, the magnetic field becomes stronger okay decrease the distance between the two magnets okay or last we say use a stronger magnet also can okay so you either use a stronger current use thicker current or you say use a stronger magnet okay to increase the force nah. okay huh? all right next question 20 okay Then read the question. Question 20 is very long, no? Read, okay, you read the question. Uh, this question, uh, this was an SPM question, uh, question 20, okay? Diagram show the arrangement of an apparatus to investigate the interaction between, interaction between current carrying conductor and the magnetic field. Interaction between two things, right? Between the current, and the magnetic field. Okay, first uh, types of magnet use. Okay, you see now, uh, this magnet is here, you know, one is on top here, one is at the bottom, got two pieces here. One on top is north, the other one at the bottom is south, so it's called magnetomagnet. Okay, remember now, uh, when the magnet is in the form of a uh, one piece, one piece, right, we call it Magneto magnet, okay. Magneto magnet, okay. Okay, the second thing you must know uh, how the current flow, you know, okay, come, you follow me first. Uh, the current flow, like this, uh, it come out from the positive, you go over here, put arrow here now, uh, then it go up, follow this wire, then follow this wire, come down, put arrow here, go down. Then cross the cross to the other side, cross over, then it go up, put arrow, then it come back. Okay, put arrow up. Huh? So the current flow in such a way, you know. Okay. So our focus is on this current, the current inside the magnetic field. Okay. Current inside magnetic field is here. Okay, magnetic field is here, right? North south. Okay. See my fingers are okay, ah. Huh? I draw the finger like this uh, because I'm looking at my, my own finger, you know. This finger actually point to the floor. Okay, remember that I'm explaining to you, ah. Uh, you are standing or sitting, right? First finger la uh, magnet must be north point to south, top point to bottom. This finger la. Uh, this finger actually pointing to the floor, you know. When you are sitting or you're standing, uh, this finger point on the floor. North south is point down to the floor okay north to south point down to the floor and this current are here now look current go in front go out this finger point out this finger point down to the earth okay this one go out then your thumb automatically go to left side go to left side huh? flaming left hand rule right go to left means uh, it will make this wire being pushed to the left side but this wire will not move, you know, it will swing because it's hanging one, you see? Hanging, so we move the whole thing, uh, swing to the left side, it will swing, okay? Swing to the left because it's holding here, okay? Something hanging it, so it will swing to the left, uh, so using your Fleming's left hand, uh, okay, remember, no, this hand, uh, I repeat again, uh, this finger is point down to the floor, you are standing, so first finger point down to the floor, this finger point forward, okay, forward of yourself. And you see your thumb point to the left side. The side of force is to the left. So you swing to the left, huh? okay? So you understand, no? Hey, William, uh, do you understand this hand or not? I'm William. William disappeared already. Okay. Okay. When the switch, ah, now he put his hand up, thumb. Okay, thank you, William. Harry Young here or not? Ah, Harry Young. Are you here now? Ah, Harry Young. Harry Young, 
please turn off the mic. Okay, Harry Yong, thank you. Yeah, here lah. Yes. Ang Xiao Hui, teacher, the magnet spelling is Manakto. T-U-R. Okay. M-A-G-N-A-T-U-R. Manakto. Not T-O-R lah. Ang Xiao Hui. T-U-R. Okay. Manakto. Manakto is T-U-R. Okay. U. What is it or not? Ang Xiao Hui. Huh? Okay, thank you. Huh? All right, next. Next question. What happened to the motion of wire X and keep the reason? Okay, I told you already, right? So the answer you can read yourself. Huh? It swings to the left. The wire will swing to the left side. Okay, then you explain now. You say when current flows through wire X, in the magnetic field because the current goes through the permanent magnetic field right the two magnetic field interact to produce a force towards the left okay so the answer is as simple like that now first you say the wire swing to the left side then you explain why so you say when current flow through the wire acts in the magnetic field because the wire is inside the magnetic field or the permanent magnet so the two magnetic field why got two? Because uh, one is a permanent magnetic field. The other one is a magnetic field of the current. When current flows through the wire, so that wire also will have magnetic field. So the two magnetic fields interact. The two magnetic fields interact to produce a force towards the left. Why to a left? This is based on Fleming's left hand rule. Okay? You don't need to explain Fleming's left hand rule because you don't need to explain why this hand like that, like that. No, you just say based on Fleming's left hand rule, the force is towards the left. Okay, that's good enough already. Okay. The next question. Suggest two ways to change the direction of motion of the wire. Okay, change the direction, you know. I mean, you need to pilot the thing now. Okay, change the direction. I mean, just now was we'll swing to the left. Now you want to swing to the right, the ballet. Okay, when you want to change the direction, uh, so that's very easy. La. First, you to ballet the battery, right? Change direction of the battery. Or second one, change the magnet, the pull of the magnet lock, right? North put at the bottom, south put on top, settle, right? Okay, so let's see the answer. Reverse the terminal of the battery. Okay, change the direction of current. Uh. Reverse the direction of the battery. Reverse the, we don't say direction. Uh. Reverse the terminal of the battery. Okay, second one. Reverse the pole of the permanent magnet. North sound, we go into ballet it. Okay, reverse the pole of the permanent magnet. Okay, two answers. Uh. Two method. Got it or not? Najib, got it or not? Najib, uh. what's your name? Uh? Huh? Me siapa? Nah, me, oh. Okay, question 21. Diagram shows an electric motor. Uh, this electric motor connected to a battery. Okay. Why this is electric motor? Because uh, we supply current, you see, this is a battery. Supply current so that this thing will turn. So this motor, lah, electric motor, right? Changing electrical energy to mechanical energy, right not? Okay, class, uh, you must know uh, why I put here arrow go up, here arrow come down. You want to understand, you know? Why? Okay, so I explain to you first. Uh, first, Label the current. Current must come up from the positive. Okay, follow here. Go to the spring, go to the carbon brush, go to the commutator. This commutator bring the current, go inside, go in, cross over, come out, follow this ring, this uh, commutator, then come back, right? Okay, on Ini Najib masuk tadi saya cakap dia keluar sekarang dia masuk balik Najib. 
Okay. Uh, I only check the left side. Lah. Left side use of Fleming's left hand. Can you check yourself? Okay. Permanent magnet uh, from left go to right. Okay. Like this. Uh, this one magnet and left go to right. Uh. Left go to right. Current come out. Okay. Come out means uh, your second finger point to your face. You follow me. Uh. Why? Okay. Permanent magnet. No, I must see this is a Najib. Najib is a huh? So far, I don't have a student named Najib. What do you know? I'm going to get out of it. It's okay. Huh? Okay, permanent magnet, your first finger, left point to right. Here, this one. Then your second finger, the current. Current is coming out. You see here? Come out. Come out means uh, your second finger point to your face. Come out means point to your face. Then you notice your thumb go up. Then the force is going up. Understand? Force is going up. Uh, okay? Uh, this side here, force go up. When this side go up, this side should go down. One only check already. Okay? So you will turn, uh, turn here. Turn, follow clockwise direction. Uh. So now answer question. What is the function of motor? As I told you, convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. Okay, please jot out the answer. Motor answer is to change electric energy to mechanical energy, right? In the part label X, where is the X? Uh? Label X, uh, X is here, a uh, commutator. Uh, this is commutator. Uh? Make sure you, you write the spelling correctly, you know, commutator. Okay? Commutator, half ring one on the left one side, the other one on the right. Okay, half ring. Okay, next. Next, ah. Uh. What is the function of carbon brushes? Okay, carbon brush. Okay, ah. Uh. Someone asked question, uh, playing mobile legend. Julian, please la. Don't play handphone. Uh. Julian, uh, who, who is playing? Uh, Julian, can you ask, ask this boy or girl to stop stop playing mobile legend? Uh, playing handphone. Okay. I hope your parent is beside you. La. Hear the speaker. Or oh, Naji playing. Uh. Najib, uh, uh, off his mic already, okay? Antoy, uh, siapa ni? <laughs> Wah, zooming, uh, why you laugh? Uh? Okay. Uh, what is a function of carbon brush? Okay, come. I know uh, most of you cannot remember. The carbon brush is here. Look at here. Uh, here, uh, carbon brush. Okay. What is the function of this carbon brush? I only explain one time only. Uh, listen, uh. Okay, because uh, when you on the current, uh, this thing will turn, right? Okay, the coil turning, it will cause this commutator to turn also involved. So this commutator will turn. This one also will turn one, you know. Except the carbon brush. The carbon brush on this wire, they are not moving. Huh? Okay. So meaning that uh, because the carb the commutators are turning, uh, they are turning like this. So you want to have something uh, to have permanent contact. No, this thing is keep turning. You have you want to have the contact touching the, the commutator. So this thing must be soft, something soft and flexible. Yeah. So this thing must be something soft and flexible. Lah. Soft and flexible means uh, when the commutator turning, uh, so she still can touch, you know, still can touch the 
still can conduct electric light using what is something like a brush softening. Uh. So the function of the carbon brush is to maintain the contact law, maintain the contact so that the current flow continuously. Understand? Okay, let's see the answer. Uh. So what is the function of the carbon brush? Reverse the direction of current in the coil every half rotation to ensure the coil turns in the same direction. Okay, uh, I have to say sorry. Uh. This one is not the carbon brass function. Uh. Okay. Uh, this answer is commutator, okay, commutator. Let me make a note here. Uh. This answer is for commutator, uh, commutator. Not carbon brass. Carbon brass answer, I tell you now, okay, you listen. You jot down this also. This is an answer for commutator, okay, commutator function. Uh. Commutator function will reverse the direction of current in the coil every half rotation to ensure the coin turns in the same direction. Uh, this is the answer for commutator. You jot down also, huh? okay? All right, now I tell you the function of carbon brush. Huh? Okay, carbon brush function, okay? Ready to write or not? Carbon brush function is to maintain the contact, maintain the contact, with commutator, maintain the contact with commutator to ensure current flows continuously, okay? To maintain the contact with the commutator to ensure the current flow continuously okay that is the answer of carbon brush okay carbon brush is soft like right? it will maintain the contact with the commutator so that the current can continue to flow okay got it or not you kai chi you kai chi ah okay ah. now only i saw you you know ah uh, yes yes sir got it ah huh? all right yes Next. so just out the answer for carbon brush already ah huh? all right next one Based on the diagram, at what direction does the motor rotate? So it's clockwise direction. I explained to you already. Uh. Okay, clockwise direction. Uh. Then what modification is required to enable it to be AC motor, DC dynamo? Okay, come, let me explain to you first. Don't copy the answer first. First is to change to AC motor, right? From AC to DC, you want to change to AC, right? So first, Replace the battery with AC supply. Okay, you want to use AC, ma? Don't want DC, so don't use the battery, la. Battery is DC, right? So first, you need to do this: replace the battery with the AC supply. Okay. Okay. The second one is replace the commutator with slip rings. Last lesson I told you, right? Commutator half ring like this, ah. Huh? The one is for DC, DC motor. If AC motor must have two rings, one you know, one in front, one at the back, or two ring. Okay, rings are like this, huh? Slip rings. So what you need to do is replace a commutator with slip rings. Okay. So by doing this two, uh, you can make this thing become AC motor. It's not DC already. It becomes AC motor. Okay. Okay. The next one is AC dynamo. Uh, this question is difficult, you know. Dynamo is different now. Okay, class. Okay, come. I use a diagram to explain a little bit first. Huh? Dynamo is different from motor. Okay. Now you see here. This diagram, right? You supply current to make this thing turn. Uh, that one is motor. Whereas dynamo is different, you know. Dynamo is another word for dynamo means a uh, generator. Generator is meant to produce current. 
So what you need to do is, you want to make this one to become dynamo, right? So you must remove the battery. No more supply of current. So what you need to do is, you turn this thing, uh, turn manually. You can use your hand to turn the coin or use a water, water flow from the, the water floor. The water flowing down, right? Use a water power to rotate this thing. The Naga National one is like that. Use a water, you know, water in the dam. When the water come down, flow, right? It will make this uh, turbine to rotate, rotate. One, this thing is turning, right? You can produce current. The valid one, you know. Motor is you supply current to make this thing turn. Whereas generator or dynamo, right? Is the valid. The valid means uh, you turn this turbine, turn the coin to generate current. When you turn here, la, it can produce current. Man. That is called generator or dynamo. Ah. Okay, now see the answer. You want to change it to a dynamo, right? So what you must do is... Okay, remove the battery. You don't need the battery anymore because dynamo no need battery one. Because dynamo is used to generate electricity so no need battery okay and then what you do is replace a commutator with slip ring because you want ac ac must use slip ring use a slip ring i'm not using a commutator lah. must replace a commutator with slip ring and last is you might rotate the coin you might rotate the coin you know use your hand to rotate the coin or use a wind power use a wind power to rotate the coin or most in the most in the most cases uh, they use a uh, water la. water from the waterfall from the dam when the water flow down right uh, very powerful right uh, use the water to rotate the coil rotate the turbine when this thing is rotating already right so it will generate electricity la. so it become a generator or become a dynamo understand yeah Okay, copy the answer. What's who mean? Can I understand? Can, <coughs> can teacher. <laughs> drink water, what's who mean? Huh? Uh, teacher, drink more water. Go, la, go, go to the kitchen, la, take, take water and drink. Huh? Okay. You have to drink water. Honey, sir, got shorter answer, ma. Which one, no? No, the answer have to be like that, no? Cannot be too short, no? You need to explain, ma. So, sir, it's mechanical energy into... Yes, correct. This one is for dynamo. Dynamo or generator, no? Is changing the mechanical energy into electrical energy. Very good answer. Honey, Honey who are you, ah? <laughs> ah, Honey. Or new, or new, new put new la, or you put ane. <laughs> put ane. Okay, correct, correct. The dynamo is to change mechanical energy to electrical energy. Yes, correct. Okay, very good, huh? New. Okay, come, let's move on. Question 22. Very long, you know, because you know why, you know, this lesson, a lot of questions in the SBM one, no? Besides, I uh, got a lot of questions need to answer, and I don't want to skip. I want to decide you one by one so that you make sure you understand. Okay. Okay. Now, question twenty-two. Figure shows structure design of moving coil emitter. Okay, this emitter. Normally, we just call them uh, emitter only. Actually, the real name is moving coil emitter. There's a coil inside the emitter. This coil will move one, you know. When this coin moving, uh, it will make the, the pointer to deflect. When the pointer deflect, uh, it show the current, uh, right? So we call it moving coin emitter. Okay, roughly this thing works like this. Uh, yeah, when, when you want to use this emitter to measure current, you connect to the power supply. Okay, let's say this one connect to positive. Uh, okay, this one positive. So this one connect to negative. So once you connect to the power supply, the current come in off from positive, right? Current go into the core, the spring. Then this current will follow this coil, will make a few turns. 
around the coil, you know. There are many, many coils here. Coils of wire you turn. Turn many, many turns already now. Nah. Then it go up through the spring here. Then through this wire, come out. So the current come out. Okay. Someone ask question again now. Nah. Focus, please, Mr. President. Now, who is Mr. President here? Okay, lah, we focus now. Nah. So, current go in. Then the current follow this coil, turn right. Okay. Why the current need to follow the coil to turn? Because want to produce a magnetic force, right? This magnetic force uh, will produce a force like this. Law. On this side, the force go in. Okay. Then on this side, the force come out. A pair of force in opposite direction. Okay. Force, uh, this is force, you know. So when the force acting in opposite direction, uh, so it will start to turn. Okay. It will turn up. Uh. So when this one go, go in, this one come up, so it will start to turn, right? So it will turn. Then we make the pointer to deflect. When pointer deflects, so it shows the reading now, nah, reading of the current. Understand? Uh, someone asked me to type here. Someone type now nah, because I'm lazy to type now. Nah. I don't want to use uh, the tools on top there now. Nah. Yeah. Okay, now we go answer the question. On figure, draw the patterns of magnetic field. Okay, now the magnetic field is like this log. Okay, north to south, north to south. So one line, two lines, three. Okay, so this is a uniform magnetic field. You know, you see that when this is circular shape, one now, so it become the magnetic field are all uniform. Okay, all same. Here also all same, magnetic field same. Huh? And please jot down here. This kind of magnet, uh, circular shape one, right? So we call it radial magnet, radial magnet. Like radius, uh, radius is round one, okay? Radial magnet, so round shape one. So what is the advantage of the round shape magnet? Is produce uniform magnetic field. By like this is all uniform one. In all direction, uh, the magnetic field form all same. So it's uniform magnetic field. Uh, can produce uniform magnetic field. Uh. The advantage is radial magnet can produce uniform magnetic field. Okay. Right next. When the current flow through the coil, the pointer deflect what types of current? So it's DC. Okay, DC. Because it turn one direction only the pointer. Must be DC la. If AC la, it will turn up, down, up, down like that. Cannot. Okay? It must be DC. Okay, explain how the pointer deflect. Okay, I told you just now, right? Interaction between the magnetic field of current. Okay? A bit, a bit long la, the answer. Interaction between the magnetic field of current and the magnetic field of permanent magnet produce a pair of forces in opposite direction. Okay. One up, one down. So you start to turn. Okay. So the whole answer, please copy. Huh? Interaction between the magnetic field of the current and the magnetic field of the permanent magnet produces a pair of forces in opposite direction. I'll show you just now, right? One force go in, one force come out, so opposite direction, so you turn now. Okay, got it? Then what is the, why is the coin stop? Uh, the coin turn a little bit, so if it stop, right, it's because of the hay spring. The hay spring exert force to stop it. Okay, there's a spring. They put the spring there, that'll be the purpose one, you know. The spring uh, is to stop the pointer. When the pointer deflect, the bit already, so the spring uh, will apply force to stop the pointer, okay? 
So the hair spring exert force to stop the deflection of the pointer. Huh? Got it? Okay, question 23, also very long. Why very long, you know, because this part got too many X SPM questions. So all these questions I'm discussing with you now, now they are, they actually they were the past year question, SPM question, very important question. Okay, okay question 23. Figure show two thin copper strip, okay? Now the current, now you see the whole diagram, how the current flow up, you copy, now, huh? the current coming from positive, Follow here, it go up, follow here, nah. the current go up, it cross over, then it come down, then go back. Now, this is how the current flow, right on left, on uh, right side, this side, right, the current go up, go up here, go up means come out from this piece of thing, nah. come out, right, come out, so it's a dot. Then come out, you see, current come out from here, right, so it's a dot, so direction is anti-clockwise use uh, right hand grip rule this hand okay right hand grip rule go up mean your thumb point up you know see the thumb point up like this then you see your other fingers your other fingers turn in anti anti-clockwise direction so here magnetic field is anti-clockwise then on this side the current go in go down right go down so your thumb point down yeah. Okay, when your thumb is pointing down, you see your other finger direction, right? The direction of other fingers is clockwise direction. So here is clockwise, here anti-clockwise, okay? And uh, uh, now, when these two are, you look at the center here. This one anti-clockwise, this one clockwise, but center actually like uh, this here, and here actually same direction, correct not? This one and this at the left and the right here actually same direction, correct not? When they are same direction means that they will combine become stronger. So center becomes strong. You see, huh? I said it again now, this side, when you put them near, right? Put them closer. When you put this one here and this one you put here, actually they are very close, right? Actually same direction. Same direction so we combine become strong. Strong means uh, center here is strong, okay, center. I put S here, uh, strong. So center is strong, so we push to the left, this one push to the right. The center is strong. This one, this one combine, so center becomes strong. So push to the left, push to the right. So you make the two copper strip, uh, rebel rebel each other so this thing will go out this thing go out they will rebel each other okay, huh? now we answer the question what happened is the copper strip rebel each other as they rebel each other okay the reason is Explanation is why they rebel because the answer is like this: uh, magnetic field producing in between PQ and RS in between the uh, uh, same direction. I told you just now, right? Magnetic field producing between PQ and RS are uh, same direction. So strong magnetic field is produced. Okay, therefore a force acted the left and the right is produced, okay? Magnetic field producing between PQ, RS are same direction, so they combine, so become strong magnetic field, right? So strong magnetic field then produce, therefore, a force acted to the left, one push to the left, the other one force push to the right, okay? I explained to you already, uh, just now, uh, the force, push to left and right. Yeah. Selina, can I understand? Uh, Selina, can. can. Yes, sir. 
E1 can I understand. Uh, where are you? E1? Yes, sir. E1 and uh, this uh, Leo. Leo, understand? Yes. Uh, I call your name so you must answer me. You know, I want to check whether you are around or not. Wei Xiang, Tan Wei Xiang, are you there? Uh, Tan Wei Xiang. Tan yes. Wei Xiang, uh, can I yes. understand? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, good. And now this Jocelyn asked question. Uh, also need to write the rebel each other. Yes, must write. Anola. Uh, this one uh, I ask you to jot down means uh, is for your own uh, understanding. Uh, just jot down there. Uh, they will rebel each other. Okay. Explain what happened last. Yeah. Jocelyn, uh, you have to write. Because the question say, explain what happened. You must explain what happened means uh, you need to say what happened first then only explain correct no so what happened is they rebel each other lah. okay they rebel each other and then this one is an explanation lah. okay huh? jocelyn understand okay thank you sir jocelyn thank you huh? anyone want to ask any question or not if you're too shy to talk now mind you can type okay i will read uh, anyone? Liao Sing Xiang, are you there? Uh, Liao Sing Xiang, uh. Ang Xiao Hui, okay, I say okay, uh, thank you, uh, Ang. Okay, come, we move on, uh. The next. This diagram is what? This one is electric motor, okay? Supply with 12 volt AC. Why AC? You see here this AC, uh, not, not battery, you know. This is AC power supply. Then definitely AC are uh, used slip ring. You see here, one ring in front, one ring at the back. So we call it slip ring. Slip ring uh, is strictly for AC, okay? But this is AC uh, motor. Motor means uh, you supply the AC current go inside. This thing uh, are mature. There are so many names on you. This one you can call a coil, or you can call it a turbine. In the peak generator, uh, this thing becomes turbine. And also you can call this one a mature, a mature. Moving parts so you can move, you will turn one. When you supply current, this thing will turn. Why? Because force acted in opposite direction, one up, one down, so you turn now, okay? okay? Now the question, explain how the motor able to rotate. Uh, so many things to explain. Uh. Besides this part, very important in the SPM. Such a question, okay? Right, how, how this thing will turn? Uh, you see how to explain now? You have to explain like this. Uh. Read the answer. Uh. Interaction between the magnetic field by current and the permanent magnet. I told you many, many times already. There are two magnetic fields. One magnetic field comes from the current. The other one magnetic field comes from the permanent magnet. So interaction between the two magnetic fields, right? Magnetic field by current and permanent magnet produce a pair of a pay of force. Okay, this is wrong already. A pay of force. Huh? Can you write it down here? A pay of force. Okay, this one is force. Huh? Force. A pay of force. I use mouse are very hard to write. Huh? A pay of forces. Hello. A pair of forces are you right here now? Produce a pair of forces in opposite direction. So a turning effect is produced. So the turning effect is the one to make it turn. Okay. I repeat again now. This word here is forces. Interaction between the magnetic field of the current and the permanent magnet produce a pair of forces in opposite direction. Opposite direction, one go up, one go down. Uh, opposite direction. 
Uh, when a pair of forces act in opposite direction, so you make something to turn no, so it's turning effect. Okay. Got it. I must use a tool when type that this is uh forces, huh? Yeah, these forces, okay? All right. It is a pair of forces in opposite direction. Based on a Fleming's left hand rule, okay? The force are in opposite direction. So a turning effect produced. Okay, come. Done already, huh? Okay, next. Using a 12 volt AC power supply, must use the air alternating current power supply. Explain the modification that need to be done on the motor and the external circuit to enable it to be DC electric motor and rotate. Okay, now there are some problem there, you know. They don't allow you to change the battery. They say must use the AC. AC, you want to make it to DC, you know, cannot change, but how use Converter. Convert the AC to DC using a rectifier, a diode. Lab. This one you will learn in chapter 4. Okay. Rectifier. R E C T I F I E R. Rectifier, which is a diode. Okay. So you have to convert the AC to DC using a rectifier, which is a, another name. We call it diode. Lab. This one you will learn in chapter four. Don't worry, you don't understand your mind, so remember it first. When you want to change AC to DC, right? Use a rectifier, okay? To rectify the current, okay? Huh? Another one is because you want to change to DC, ma, must replace slip ring with commutator, lo, because slip ring is only for AC, ma. You want to change to DC, must change it back to commutator. So there are two changes, la, right? Convert AC to DC using rectifier, a diode, or then replace a slip ring with commutator. Okay, you don't want AC, you want to change it to DC. Slip ring is for AC, so remember that. Huh? Where a commutator is meant for DC. Okay, okay, make it very clear already. Huh? Correct. Okay. So many questions, no? Question 24. Yeah, I don't discuss uh, you, you never do one. You know. This thing might remove it. Uh, huh? Eraser, where is the eraser? Yeah. All right, come, come back to this question. Diagram show a device for testing the efficiency of toy helicopter. This helicopter, lah. Okay. A toy helicopter roto plate made by student. Okay, you can see the diagram. Ah. The plate is turning one, you know. Turning to make this something work like a helicopter. Lah. So this one turning. Okay. The diagram not so clear. Lah, huh? The number of battery is increased to change the speed of the rotor plate. Okay, you see now. Here got two dry cell, two only. 
Two right, you turn very slow, no? smaller force. So you turn very slow long. Actually, here turn very slow. Okay. This one turn very slow. Okay. Because the battery is very little, current lower. The current is lower, smaller force. So say it turn very slow. The rotor plate turn very slow. The aeroplane cannot fly. The second card, second diagram, you increase the battery. You see now, here got more battery already. So current become higher. When current become higher, so these plates are now can turn faster. It turn very fast. It turn very fast now, okay? Turn very fast. So meaning that now, uh, when the current is higher, the magnetic force is stronger, like bigger force. Bigger force means that uh, the plate can turn faster. Okay? Can turn faster, right? Understand? Uh? So it's very obvious that uh, this one small current, right? Current small, so the magnetic force is smaller. Smaller means it turn very slow. The plate turn very slow. Second diagram, you increase the current, you put more battery, bigger current, right? It produces a bigger magnetic force. So this plate now will turn very fast. So the aeroplane can fly now, it turn very fast. Can I not? So the experiment is roughly like this. Nah. Okay, already we have full scale paper. Nah. Okay, now the question, inference. Inference are what to write? Okay, see the answer, inference. Okay, nah. check the answer, inference. The strength of force produced by magnet depends on the current, okay? That is the answer. The strength of the force produced by magnet depends on the current, huh? We know the relation, right? The bigger the current, the bigger the strength of the magnetic force, correct? Okay, the second one is hypothesis. Uh, hypothesis is the higher the current, the stronger the force on current carrying conductor, okay? The higher the current, the stronger the force of current carrying conductor. Okay, hypothesis. Okay, all right. It's an important experiment. Okay, now C, question C. Question C, what the question asks. With the use of apparatus such as connection wire, magnetor, magnet, U-shape, iron yoke, solenoid, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Actually, now this experiment we have uh, explained the other day. Now let's go back to see how you write the answer. Okay, the answer is in your paper, but I tell you, you better learn to write it out on a piece of paper. Don't assume the answer is in the paper, then you know already. Huh? Okay, so it's here. On page three, okay, somewhere here. Where is it? Okay, right, it's here now. Huh? This experiment, okay. The experiment using uh, this diagram, okay. Ah, this one. Ah. So you see uh, how you put uh, this is uh, iron yoke. Even in the list of apparatus, uh, iron yoke. This one is Marek 2 magnet. One piece at the bottom, one piece on top. Marek 2 magnet. So this is wire. Thick wire. This is uh, short copper wire. All this given now. Uh, Thick copper wire got two. One here. One here, this is short copper wire. And this is a DC power supply, right? Okay. So this one, okay. Now we see how to write the experiment. There are some changes here. Please follow. Okay. Hypothesis, okay. Aim. Now it's aim, right? Aim is to investigate the relationship between the magnitude of force on current carrying conductor with the magnetic magnitude of current, okay? Manipulated variable, magnitude of current, current or voltage are same one, uh -huh. You can manipulate the current, you can manipulate the voltage, it's the same, okay? 
Responding variable don't follow this. Uh, cancel this. You write distance L moved by the short wire. How far the how far the wire push to the left side? Okay, so you measure the distance. Okay, the further the, the wire move, right, the bigger the force lah. Fix variable strength of the magnetic field. The permanent magnetic must be fixed ah. Uh, and the length of the current, the length of the wire, length of the current carrying conductor must be fixed ah. Uh. The list of operator source given lah. Magnetic magnet, U shape iron yoke, thick copper wire, short copper wire, DC supply, and a ruler. You need a ruler, right? Okay, you can copy ah. Uh. The diagram is here. Learn how to draw the diagram. Okay, learn the diagram. Huh? Okay, procedure. Procedure, your first step, right? The voltage of DC power supply use is recorded. I don't say V, give a value. Okay, see here, we start with two words. So you say, the voltage of DC power supply is recorded. So you put here V equal to give a value. Uh, don't just put V uh, equal to two word. So you start with two word. Okay. Start with two word now. Uh. Uh, then DC power supply switch on. Okay. Then distance the short copper wire move on the thick copper wire measure by using a ruler. Uh, L, so you see along. When you on the current, uh, the force will push this wire to the left side. Okay, move here. So you measure this distance using a ruler. Uh, measure this distance L. Okay, measure this distance R. Uh, right? Okay, no, you see here. Two word, the distance is three millimeter. Right? Then the experiment, uh, repeat. Increase the voltage to four volt. You can turn the button to make the voltage become four. Four volt, four volt, bigger voltage, bigger current also, right? So the force becomes stronger. So we push this wire further, further. Then you measure the distance now. So you get six millimeter longer, right? So you repeat the experiment. The experiment repeated five times for the different voltage of DC. You cannot write like this, huh? You must say experiment repeated five times for the different voltage of DC power supply of you put there four volt, four volt. You must write it out, you know. You cannot just put just like that, four uh, six uh, and so on, six volt, eight volt, and so on, huh? Okay, copy here now. Huh? We started with two, you repeat with four, six, eight, ten, twelve wood. Okay. Understand? And then last part is tabulation of data, a table. La. Table, you do need to put this on, uh, but this one manipulated variable you can put two, four, six, six, ten can put, but not this one. This one, no need. This one just for your own understanding only. Okay. But I advise you that don't follow this table. No. Use a vertical table like that, a vertical table, okay? Never use a horizontal table, la, a vertical table. La. So here is wood. Here, L, okay? With the millimeter, okay? Uh, here, wood is wood. La. Uh, here, you can write it out for... Two, four, six, and so on. Ah, uh. okay. Ah, uh. uh, the table is like that. And last, the way you analyze mean you plot a graph law, responding variable, distance L moved by the short wire L against the voltage. Okay. Is it ten o'clock already? So I cannot start new lesson today. You finish some all the questions already, right? Selena, can I not finish or review all questions, correct? Correct, yes. Selena, good, you are there, huh? Wei Xiang, are you there? No, yes. I. Wei Xiang, okay, huh? No, I, are you there? No, I, na. Aisha, all these people. Aisha, are you there? 
炉烧我的地 ，OK， 没有卖的啊。好，来。I think I will stop here for today 了啊。So we only manage to discuss finish all the questions 啊。The question I I need to decide with you because I, if I don't discuss ah, most of you are will not answer the question when you will just leave it like that. The paper will keep you just keep the paper, right? Not only handful of you are will do on your own one. Okay. Okay. Any question to ask here? Anyone? Anything to ask? Andrew Young, anything to ask or not? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Chan Yan Wu, anything to ask? Huh? Chan Yan Wu, you type one, okay? Pong, Pong Yong Un, anything to ask? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Desmond, anything to ask? Desmond? Yutong, anything to ask? Yutong? No. No, uh, no question tonight. Tonight, no question, uh, Yutong. No, no question. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, huh? Apple, got anything to ask or not, Apple? No, teacher. No, uh, that's one also say no question. Okay. If no questions, uh, remember, you know, okay? Continue to study, okay? Every day must study, you know, don't miss any day. Nah. This is not holiday, no, remember, no. This is actually not a holiday for you all. It's just because of something happened, nah, so you all cannot go back to school. That's it. It's school day. Your school holiday is on uh, Hari Raya. Hari Raya, I think it's 23rd, 24th, isn't it? Uh, that will be your holiday, nah. The Hari Raya is fall in the during the school holiday, okay. Uh, during the school holiday, maybe you all can rest a little bit more, okay. But tuition still on now. Uh. School holiday, but tuition no holiday one, okay. Tivish, can I understand? Tivish. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Okay, thank you, Tivish. Okay, so remember. Keep studying, don't stop. Every day study, nah. minimum three hours going study every day. Plan your schedule, plan your timetable to study. You must study all the subject, you know, must cover all the subject. Don't say this subject not important, that subject not important. No, actually in your SPM, nah, all the subject you register, right, is equally important one, you know. You are, Regardless are you are registered for nine subjects, ten subjects, or eleven subjects, huh? so all the subjects become important for you already. Once you still register the subject, it is considered a very important subject for you. So must study, study even you all the subjects, understand? Uh, maybe like this, you see certain subject more difficult to understand, right? So you spend more time. Certain subject is slightly easier one. So you can spend uh, less time, okay? Right? Okay, huh? so be smart a bit, study smart, uh -huh. plan your time, okay? Every day, take good care of yourself, okay? Enough of rest, enough of study, and then don't forget, must uh, always uh, drink a lot of water. Now, if, uh, if possible, you don't need to go out, so you don't go out. Uh -huh. Okay, don't need to go out. Okay, all right. I think that's all. Uh -huh. Thank you for following me tonight. Okay, I appreciate it very much. Some of you, I think every night follow one. I see their name here. Every night, one week, two times or so, this group of students are here. So I appreciate it very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye, huh?